Hey everyone, it's Jacob here back again with another video. Um, so first of all, before I get into what this video actually is, I just wanted to quickly show that I just got this new DVD in the mail yesterday. It's this giant Spray Me the Spray DVD. I just want to quickly show this before we get to the main uh, thing that this video is, basically. Um, you would have known that I was going to be getting this in the mail if you watched my unboxing video of the 20 movie collection of musicals. I like the best of Warner Bros. 20, 20 film collection musicals DVD box set. When I did the unboxing video of that, I said I was going to be getting this Chinese Spray DVD in the mail. So yeah, I just want to quickly show that. And uh, one thing about this DVD that, that was pretty cool, <coughs> I chose the uh, the lowest price listing on Amazon for this. It was like seven dollars, I think, six ninety eight, somewhere around there. But um, maybe six ninety five. I'm not sure. Somewhere around there. <laughs> it was like two cents price range. Anyway, <coughs> but yeah, I chose the uh, the lowest price listing on Amazon for this, which is like seven dollars, somewhere around there. And um, <coughs> it says like used goods, so it was like used in good condition. And then when I got it, it was actually like brand new. It was in, like, the plastic wrap, like, sealed and stuff like that, so it was a, a very pleasant surprise. So, yeah, it's, like, sealed, like, in plastic wrap, so... Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of, it's kind of misleading, but it's a good kind of misleading, because I thought it was going to be used, but it's actually brand new, so it's a good misleading. Anyway, I'll go put this back where it was real quick. We'll get right back. Alright, sorry about that, I'm back now, so now that I've showed the, uh, Johnny and Sprites DVD that I got recently, I'm going to get to the main part of the video. Uh, so for today's video, um, I thought I would show, like, the DVD menus of some bootleg DVDs that I have. Um, so that you can kind of see, like, what, what bootleg DVDs are like and stuff like that. Um, I'm only, I don't really have a problem with bootleg DVDs, like, if something's only available on a bootleg DVD and an official DVD, like, I don't mind getting the, the bootleg DVD, I mean, it's obviously... Obviously, bootleg DVDs are kind of <laughs> illegal, but it's only really illegal for the person that signed the DVDs. So it's, it's not really illegal for a person to buy bootleg DVDs. I think it's only illegal to sell bootleg DVDs, not buy them. Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I guess I don't really have much else to say, so let's get started. So the first one I have is... Um, excuse me, sorry about that. Um, the first one I have is the first disc in a, a, like, it's these bootleg DVDs of Season 1 of Fetch of Surf Ruffin that I found on eBay. Um, uh, and I told my mom and dad that I, w that I wanted to get this bootleg season one DVD of Fetch Surf Ruffin, but I made them believe that it was official. I knew it was bootlegs, and the description it said, the, the seller said, like, uh, no official Fetch, no official Fetch Surf Ruffin DVDs were released, so I wanted to make my own, uh, stuff like that, and but I didn't show that part to my parents, I made them believe that it was official, but I knew it was bootleg all along, but, <laughs> yeah, because I, I didn't think they would let me get it if they, if they knew it was bootleg. But anyways... So I'm just gonna pop in this uh, season one. This going fetch DVD real quick. You can tell that's a bootleg because someone like wrote on it and put like fetch season one disc one or S one S one D one. That means season one disc one. Anyway, um, there's a few little scratches and smudges here and there, but uh, not a big deal. Anyways, pop this in. We're gonna see what the uh, bootleg DVD menu for disc one and season one fetch the far looks like. Um, and by the way, I found this bootleg DVD of Fetch uh, I found the, this bootleg DVD of Season 1 of, of Fetch the Surf on eBay. I might have already said that, I'm not sure. But anyways, let's click here. And by the way, um, like in all videos where I do something with my TV, I had the volume turned down pretty low so that, so you can, like, hear my voice. But anyways, um, so I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, this pops up. Yeah, so this is, this is the first four episodes right here. It's kind of like just a generic bootleg menu, we have 3, 2, 1, blast out, good dancing, my teeth, how to get out your inner hip hop, and cap, I thought you said cut. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, as you can see, it says it's a DVD-R disc. Um, so yeah, let's click on the first episode, for an example here. And it plays like the old, like, PBS Kids Go, like, bumpers or commercials, or you want to call them. <clears throat> These are like the original hearing for that, so it's from like, yeah, from okay. PBS Kids Go, sorry. Yeah, right here it says the, these are the original earnings of the episodes from PBS Kids Go in Kansas City. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I just played the episodes and stuff. Yeah. It's basically all of that. Um, so yeah. But uh, I don't order stuff from eBay anymore though, because I've had a couple issues with stuff I've ordered from eBay. Um, 
Like, for example, I ordered, like, a Naked Brothers Van Donis DVD, which Ray right, Sonic came bundled, bundled with the, the first Naked Brothers Van CD back in the day. But, uh, and when I got it in the mail, it ended up being the Naked Brothers Van CD, and not the bonus DVD. It was in, like, the bonus DVD, like, case, but the disc inside was the Naked Brothers Van CD. So, yeah. And then, um... And also my my parents kind of treated the the special I from Blu-ray DVD as like as an issue at first because uh, because like I said uh, I led my parents to believe that these special Star from Blu-ray DVDs were official DVDs <laughs> yeah anyway so I don't order from eBay anymore um, because <laughs> eBay can kind of unpredictable so yeah um, I'll always be grateful for the things I did order from eBay before. <laughs> One thing I ordered from eBay before that was a successful order was uh, a DVD of Season 1 of Fast Home News. I found on eBay it was only like 15 or $20, somewhere around there. Um, <coughs> <coughs> but uh, yeah, and that DVD was in pretty good condition. All the, all the discs didn't really have any like scratches or smudges on them. And yeah, anyways, I've shown that House of New Season 1 DVD in other videos if you want to see it. Uh, maybe go up to one of my like Nickelodeon DVD collection videos. But anyways. Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about like eBay and stuff. So the next Bootleg DVD I have here is this Bootleg DVD of Stranger Things Season 3. Um, I know my look like an official DVD at first glance, but I know for a fact that this is a Bootleg DVD because, um, because only the first two seasons of Stranger Things have been like official, officially released. Um, they've been officially released as like Target exclusives. Um, like only on like Target Store and stuff like that. And DVD and Blu-ray come up with like, like VHS and stuff like that. I actually recently showed one of the uh, Stranger Things, like, Target Exclusive DVD Blu-ray comic packs I have, they, they look like, uh, VHS, as I just said that, I think, but it was in the last year I did my top five favorite shows, I showed the season one Stranger Things DVD Blu-ray comic pack, and a VHS style packaging that I have, but anyways, I didn't see, I got this for $15 from a used book and DVD store called Mr. Caves, used book and DVDs, that store doesn't exist anymore, I'll talk about that store in several other videos, yeah, anyways, there's the actual case, and, um, uh, Here's the discs, um, it's three discs, it's the same exact picture on all the discs, um, yeah, so, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna pop in all these discs, I'm just, I'm just gonna put in, like, the first disc here, so, yeah, and then, uh, I know the case on the discs and stuff don't really look that much like bootlegs, when, when you see the menu, like, you'll, you'll be able to tell it's a bootleg, anyway. And also, I forgot to say about that Fetch Star from and Season on Blue DVD is it? Um, no, D no official DVDs of Fetch Star, but Fetch Star from from ever released, which is why I got the Blue Lake DVD of the first season. I did see the the same person that uh, was selling the first season Blue Lake DVD of the first season Fetch Star on eBay. They are selling the other seasons as well, but like I said, I'm pretty much done with buying stuff on eBay because, like I said, eBay can be kind of unpred unpredictable. I pr I'm probably gonna stick to buying stuff on like Amazon and stuff like that. But anyways has the Universal intro, you can see it's just kind of weird because I don't think Universal had a part in making Stranger Things, so yeah, that's how you can tell it's Blue Lake DVD because it has the Universal logo on it. Um, here's the menu, so it's just like a static picture and then some music in the background, and a couple of ways you can tell the Blue Lake Jeff's menu are the music, if you listen to the music in the background, it, does, it doesn't sound like the actual theme song to Stranger Things, if you listen for a second. See, it just sounds a little different. It doesn't really sound like the actual theme song. And also, it says resume film for some reason. That's not the way you can kind of tell it's a bootleg because I think it was, I think if it was a show, it's like resume episodes, something like that. But anyways, if we go to episodes, it says episode 01, 02, 03, uh, et cetera. Um, so yeah. Let me just go to episode 1 real quick. Just plays normally, just like how the episode would play on uh, Netflix and all that. June 20th, 1984, this is of course the the opening scene to episode one of season three of Stranger of Things. Yeah, anyway, that's it. Go ahead and take that one out. And there's no menu to click on, like, play all resume of film. Anyway. Oh, I accidentally opened the wrong case. I accidentally opened se the season four DVD, which actually next video I'm going to show. I thought it was the season three of Stranger Things DVD. Anyway. <coughs> but to be honest, I actually like the bootleg... DVDs I have a stream of things more than the official DVDs because 
with the official streaming things like Target exclusive DVD and Blu-ray compacts I have. There's like unskippable ads, um, or like trailers, commercials, whatever you want to call them. But you, you like have to watch them. You can't like skip the ads and go like straight to the menu. Like it doesn't let you skip them. But with these Blu-ray DVDs, it just goes like straight to the menus. So yeah, that's like the that's probably the main reason why I like the Blu-ray DVDs better because it just gets to the menus faster. Because there's like no trailers or ads or commercials or whatever you want to call them. But anyways. I thought this. I thought this first just felt like it could be a little bit loose. I think it's fine though. Yeah, seems be seems to be in there fine. Anyway, that's that. Um, on, by the way, I forgot to say about the giant sprite DVD that I showed at the beginning of the video. Um, I was thinking about doing just like a, a separate video of showing that giant sprite DVD that I showed at the beginning of this video, but, but I was like, no, I'll just play at the beginning of this video. Anyway. Because it probably would have been a really short video if I had just done, like, a little unboxing of that Giant Sprites DVD. Because that was just, like, one little DVD. So it probably would have been, like, like a 5 to 10 minute video. <laughs> anyway. That was the DVD of Season 3 of Stranger Things. So next up. Uh -huh. Okay, there we go. Um, so next up, I kind of already said what the next DVD was going to make so I accidentally opened this DVD instead of the Season 3 Stranger Things DVD. This is the... A Bully DVD season four, so you don't see anything until it's kind of made by the same people because it has like the same kind of like design on like design on like the case and stuff like that. Uh, so, like, everything at the beginning on the front says no more lies, no more hiding, stuff like that. Um, and uh, also down here says it's another way you can tell it's a bootleg, it, and it has this on the back of the season three Stranger Things case as well. But uh, it says Canadian home reading at the bottom here, which is another way you can tell it's bootleg. This isn't a Canadian DVD, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure it's American DVD. But anyway, uh, now the discs for uh, for uh, the season four really do you a little bit more creative. Um, the season four, where it says season four in each of the discs, it's just like in a regular font, like something like in like Stranger Things or anything like that. It's not the way you can cut out school like, but yeah, like I was saying, there's uh, the discs for season four, the season four of Stranger Things TV are a little bit more creative than the discs in season three. Stranger Things DVD because there's different pictures on these discs as you can see episodes one through three on disc one, disc two episodes four through six, disc three episodes seven through eight, and disc disc four is just episode nine. Um, and whereas the season three Stranger Things DVD is the same picture on every disc like I showed before, uh, like just a few minutes ago. Anyway, uh, episode nine I have to be pulling its own disc because that's like a two and a half hour long uh, episode or like two hours and twenty minutes, two hours and twenty two minutes I think somewhere around there. So yeah, because the episode was falling, it had to be found its own disc. So yeah. Anyways, that's that. Um, let's pin. It was like the first disc of season four, and the season four DVD. Uh, almost forgot to say. By the way, this, uh, the season four Stranger Things DVD. Um, I originally found on like. Oh. I was making a weird sound for a second on the, this thing. Oh. Okay, it's coming up. It's going like for some reason. Let's click on it real quick. Okay, just stopped. <laughs> anyway, I don't think that's an issue, that sound, because I think I've heard that sound before. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was saying, uh, the menu actually popped up faster on here is on the season three, facing CD. But I was saying, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was saying, uh, this, the uh, Strange Things season four DVD where I found on Amazon, and then I kept, like, going in and out of stock. Um, but then, um, Oh, my mom got it for me for Christmas, uh, like last year. So yeah, it just has plenty of all episodes and episode selections. It doesn't have like a resume film button like the season three DVD did. So if you click on episode selection, it has chapter one, help our cloud, chapter two, backness, curse, and tragedy, monster, and superhero. And then the main menu. And there's not a space between the two words down there, like main and menu. Anyway, that's another way you can tell that when it, that you use a bootleg when there's a lot of like misspellings in the words and like just like grammar errors and whatnot. Obviously, obviously, there's pictures of Steve and, or, yeah, I was, I was almost like, wait, that's not Steve, but it is Steve. Uh, it's, it's like Steve and Nancy working at the family video store. Anyway, let's click on one of the episodes, too, so you can see that it works. Oh, it's like three hours, but it's, I guess it's like all the episodes, like, together. There's this whole three hours and three minutes. I was like, three hours? It's not one episode or anything that's three hours and three minutes long. Anyway, um, yeah. The quality of episodes on season four DVD seems to be a bit lower than the episodes, episodes on season eight DVD. Like this looks just like really like it looks kind of like blurry and pixely uh, for some reason. 
Anyways, that's that. That's just a little bit of that. So, yeah. Um, so that was the Season 4 Stranger Things DVD. So there's a couple more Bully DVDs here that I wanted to show the menus of. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, so... Next up, I have this bootleg Pixar movie collection set. It's a pretty cool set. Um, but you can tell the bootleg because, for example, down here it has some weird stuff on the bottom here. It says, like, English version, the collection. And that's just, like, some weird stuff. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, that's one I actually got from eBay as well. I actually found an eBay gift card in my brother's room. Um, and uh, he was like, oh, yeah, I don't think I ever use that. I can use it. So I was going to use it to order this, but then... Um, it, the gift card, like, wasn't working, and so he was like, oh, yeah, I did order something with that gift card. I forgot what it was. I think it was something like, headphones or, like, um, maybe, like, a gaming chair or something like that, but, um, yeah. But my brother ended up ordering the Pixar movie collection for me from eBay. Um, anyways, this is the actual case. This is what the, uh, this looked like. I remember what I said about, you can tell, uh, you can tell if the DVD is really DVD by, like, the spelling, if there's, like, grammar errors or spelling errors or whatever. Well, that's the spelling error right here on disc three. Instead of finding Nemo, it says Fingding Nemo, like there's an extra G right there. <laughs> Anyways, I will got to come out of the case. Alright, there we go. Um, so I was putting this one. Right there, this one has Toy Story and a Bug's Life on it. Um, I was going to say, I don't think any official, like, big collection set has been the least of all the Pixar movies. But I think I have seen a couple of like up like little Pixar movie collections online but they're pretty expensive and this bootleg Pixar movie collection was pretty cheap I think if I remember correctly um uh, anyways there's like 11 discs in here anyway let's go put on this DVD here um uh, it actually spells finding correctly on the on the case right here it doesn't and doesn't act, doesn't add extra G, but there is another little grammar error right here. The S in story, where it says Toy Story three, right there. The S in story is lowercase instead of capital S. So yeah. Anyways, so here's what the menu looks like. I didn't see it says first time question. It says play out the, at the bottom. And then we have Toy Story to bugs. So I have to click on Toy Story for an example. Uh, it brings up the uh, chapters. Uh, this first time movie question said it splits each movie into eight chapters. Um. I do have the, the official DVDs of a lot of Pixar movies, but it's pretty cool how this collection of all Pixar movies like together. Anyways, I'll just click on chapter one, I guess. And yeah, this plays the movie. Has the Disney intro and whatnot. Um, it's pretty good quality, actually. Um. I mean, it does seem like maybe like a tiny bit blurry, but for the most part, the quality seems pretty good. Uh, anyways, that's that. Uh, okay, that's just a little look at that. Um, yeah, just a little look at the Pixar movie collection. Let's put the disc back in real quick. That, that disc one was like under disc two. I was trying to put disc one back in, and I was like, oh yeah, I have to take this two out and then put disc one in because disc one was like under disc two. Anyway, so that's that. Hopefully, I don't get like copyright for showing these like little clips of showing the movies. Probably not because I think you only get like copyright strikes on YouTube videos for like playing music and not like showing like clips of showing the movies, so should be fine. Anyway. But, uh, that was that. Um, yeah, okay, so make sure all the discs are in there good. Um, okay, anyways. There it is. That's that. <laughs> Just make sure all the discs are in there good. Uh, anyways. So, one last bootleg DVD thing to show you. This is another movie question, kind of like the Pixar movie question, but this is a little, like, Disney movie collection, 
a weird little Disney movie collection thing that I found. It's a bit ripped. I accidentally ripped it at one point. Not even a bit ripped. Not, ugh, that's not weird. I was going to say, I was going to say, well, not even a bit ripped. It's a pretty big rip, as you can see. Anyways, it's called, like, Small Disney Classic Special Edition Disney DVD. I don't know. It's just a weird little Disney movie collection thing that I just randomly found at a good little thrift store. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and at first, when I first got this, I was a little bit confused, because, um, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like 14 movies on here, but I was a little confused at first. So it starts with 46, like an hour 46 on the first movie there, and then it goes up to 60. And at first I looked up online, I kind of I looked this up online, I couldn't find anywhere online. So I found me with some sort of random old thing that someone randomly made and then put in the Google Thrift store. But then I think I found this thing on eBay for like a big set of like these little like Walt Disney Classic Special Edition things like together. Um, but that was like really expensive. So yeah, it's like. I can see it was number four on the side there, so it's like the fourth one, and the set of these little bootleg Disney movie collections, that's why it, it says like, the number's like 46 through 60, but anyways, all the discs are in this like, um, it's kind of like a, a little tiny book of discs, a booklet of discs or whatever, so um, yeah, it has a Goofy movie, Casper, and Feck of Notre Dame, um, James the Giant Peach, um, uh, the Wild Swans, I don't even know what that one is. <laughs> um, Everybody Loves Donald. Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco, right there. Um, and then we have Hercules, but another misspelling error there. It's not like we can tell Scooby DVD. It's not, a, it's not a spelling error right here. It says Hercules. There's no S there. So it's Hercules, not Hercules. Or maybe Hercule. No, I think Hercules sounds better. Anyway. And then Beauty and the Beast, the Enchanted Christmas, right there. Um, and Pooh's Grand Adventure, Switch Christopher Robin, Milan. Uh, Pocahontas 2, Journey to New World. Beauty and the Beast, Bell's Magical World. A Bug's Life. Uh, it's not even the official Bug's Life logo on that disc. That's a, some sort of weird font. And then this, this, uh, the, the, the disc holder on this side is empty for some reason. And then the last disc that's included is Lion King 2 Simba's Pride. So I'll just pop in like a couple of these discs, I think. Maybe like two of them. So I think I'll pop in the Bugs Life disc, and it says the number, uh, the number disc that is on the bottom of each disc. So, uh, for example, this one says disc 59 on the bottom there. Anyways, let's pop in this disc here. It seems like I make like a little sticker like, where it says like just kicking on the bottom of this, but I don't think it is. That's just what it seems like. Anyway. Um, so yeah. Let's wait for this. Uh, you need to load up. And uh, I think for America, the you know, menus on the bootleg DVDs included in this, this little set are like similar to the official DVD menus. But, um, but you can tell they're like bootleg menus. You'll probably see what I mean. And the menu post up here. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, the me the bootleg menu for a bug slide. You can tell it's a bootleg menu because the menu is kind of like blurry. And yeah, so um, oh yeah, no, on all these bootleg menus, you like, oh, I'll show that man. Let's go back to the main menu. Um, so as you can see, one, well, let me go down to the bonus material. See, I'm keep going down, one, go down to the bonus material like section. Which I'll show you what, why that is in a second first. We go to setup, and you can see the menu is like blurry and stuff. You can tell it's a bootleg menu. Uh, yeah, just book images, subtitles, main menu. I don't actually have the official DB of a bug like I don't think. Yeah, anyways, I mean, it seems collection of toys. Um, let's yeah, that's that. And so I'll, sh I'll show you why it won't. Well, let me go to the bonus material because on the Bully Bees in this set, you actually you go up to play and then you go up one more and then it goes to like uh, some sort of like hidden secret menu. So it's like, uh, I don't know if this menu is on the official DVD of Bugs, like it's like the original soundtrack of the movie, I guess. Um, I guess this, I guess this isn't the, like bonus features, but yeah, I guess it's like a. On each of these really good views in this set, there's like a secret hidden menu that's kind of like in, in place with the blind features, I guess. Yeah, it includes the original soundtrack for some reason, I guess. Um. Alright. Wait, I'm trying to click on each of these and nothing's happening. 
Oh wait, there we go. That's different music. Huh. Anyway. Okay, yeah. It does play the music. Just on like the first couple of songs, it played like the same song. Anyway. Man, yeah, that was the Fox Life DVD. Uh, I think there's one more DVD in the set that I want to pop in real quick. Um, let's put this back in real quick. And then I'll put the bug like this back in the Discord. It's funny when I saw that was back in real quick. Anyway. Could beat this back in our folders just a little bit hard. Anyway. There we go. Got it back in. So, let's see, where's the other one I wanted to pop in? Okay. I wanted to pop in the Mulan DVD. So, yeah. I really wanted to pop in this DVD because I have the official DVD of Mulan as well. So, I wanted to pop in a Billy DVD that also had the official DVD. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Wait for it to load up here. Right. And I think it's gonna be the same kind of thing. It's gonna, like, gonna be like a secret hidden menu when you go like all the way up, like past play. Um, so yeah. And it probably won't let me go to the bonus features menu if I remember correctly. It's like the bugs, like the DVD. Anyway. Um, there's like a language selection menu here. So we'll click on English, of course. There's like a warning menu. And then it has the actual like Walt Disney Home Entertainment intro. Which makes you think that might actually be the official DVD, but you'll see that it's actually really DVD when you when you get to the menu. Um, so it loads up here. Look okay, here it is. Um, this is the same kind of menu that, um, this is the same kind of, like, menu that's, in, that's, like, included on the official DVD. But, uh, you'll see how it's really doing just a second here. Yeah, this is the main menu here. You can click on, like, scene selection. I just cracked my finger like this. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, it's kind of like the same kind of menu you get on the official DVD of, uh, Mulan. But I think on the official DVD of Mulan, the, there's actually, like, many interesting is on really DVD, like, that's numbers. <laughs> Um, anyways, and as you can see, I'm going like I'm in now here, this gets a bonus material menu, just like the Bug Play TV. We'll go to the setup menu real quick. Uh, Milan is a really classic film. I love it, it's great. <coughs> but to be honest, I don't think I've actually watched Milan like all the way through. I watched it like once, and then I stopped it probably, out, probably after like half hour, 45 minutes, just because I kind of got tired. Um, and I haven't watched it since, since, but I just think it's really classic film, I really like it. Anyway, I just have to get around to watching the rest of it at some point. Anyways. Only the background music is too many, it's like music from the movie, obviously. It's background music is too many. Anyways, so, no, just like the bug light menu, like I said, it doesn't let you go to the bonus screen menu, but there's a secret hidden menu where you go up past play like this, as you can see. Hmm. So it's kind of like a little bonus features menu, it's music and more. And there's two music videos, uh, Can't See Virgil, I'll make a fan of you, and then the Mandarin Birth and Perfection. And then there's an original soundtrack, <coughs> which should go to this menu. This is what you give me to work um, with. Well, honey, I've seen worse. So you click each of the songs, I'll play the song, like so. Um, I don't think these like soundtracks are included on the official DVD, but that's pretty cool. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Anyway, I probably shouldn't play a lot of the songs. And um, there's like a <coughs> there's like a French version, I guess, as well. <coughs> anyway. So that's that. Um <coughs> I think that's pretty much it, I think. How's that in here? There we go. Oh. I guess I still only went back up. <coughs> I 
feel like I'm trying to lose my voice. Anyways, that was it. And that was all the bootleg DVMAs I wanted to show. Um, let's see, let's try to get the Milan DVD back in real quick. Um, oh, here it is. <laughs> I was like, where is the space for Milan? Okay, there we go. Got it back in. Put this back in here real quick. Sorry if I went quiet for a minute there. I was just getting the, the case back in the, the box there. The Disney movie collection there. Anyway. There we go. Oops. Let's get this back on top. Okay. There we go. I got it. Um, anyways, so. Yeah, those was all the uh, Boulay DV menus I wanted to show. All the Boulay duties and stuff and whatnot. Um, and whatnot. Anyway, uh, I said it like that. I feel like that's a lot. That's how a lot of old people say words that start stuff. You like what? So like that. Anyways, that was kind of random. <laughs> Anyways, I'm kind of rolling on here, but yeah. Um, I think some bootleg like, do. I think it's pretty cool how all these bootleg do these because they're you know like pretty unique and stuff like that. But anyways, I uh, don't have anything else to say. I don't really want to make this video too long. So it's like 31 minutes long. So yeah, I don't have much. That's pretty much it for this video. I don't really have much else to say. So of course, please like, comment, and subscribe, and of course ring the bell so you don't find never post any new videos. And then. Yeah, don't really, don't really have anything else to say. So of course I enjoy this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.